Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to show you part 4 of Laser GRBL in-depth tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can open SVG files or Inkscape files directly in Laser GRBL. Without further ado, let's get into it! In part 2 and 3 of this uh, series of in-depth video tutorial about Laser GRBL, we've been covering how to work with uh, G-code files as well as raster type of images, that is JPEG, PNG, GIF and so on. So we've been seeing how to uh, open them, how to append them, how to uh, save them as a G-code at the end uh, and so on. So in this video instead we are going to concentrate on SVG files, in particular uh, Inkscape files. Now, uh, Laser GRBL at the time of recording this video still marked this feature as experimental and we can see this when we actually try to open a file. If we expand the supported file type, we see vector image experimental. And so that means that this is still at the early stage of uh, the development. Now, uh, another note is that uh, Laser GRBL uh, integrate the SVG file type that is actually generated by Inkscape. For those who don't know, Inkscape is an open source, free to download graphical editor software, which I'm sure most of the people working with uh, laser engravers and other type of uh, CNC machine will uh, know and use. Um, and so if you happen to open an SVG files which haven't been produced by Inkscape, so it's being produced from another uh, graphical editing software or it's being converted from another uh, vectorial format, that might not render uh, the way you'd expect into uh, the canvas of a laser GRBL. Now the reason why there is is actually beyond the scope of this video, but if you want to know why uh, SVG files produced by other software uh, will not render the same way as SVG uh, files generated by Inkscape, uh, let me know in the comment below so I can uh, uh, dedicate a video to that for the future. So for the time being, let's just carry on with this uh, part 4 video tutorial. Now let's uh, quickly go and open our first file. So before to do that, I'll show you the file that I'm about to open. Let's go over to Inkscape. So as you can see, I have a Inkscape logo as well as a Inkscape written down here. And so back to Laser GRBL, File, Open, Inkscape, and open that up. Now here uh, you have the target image settings, so you can set your speed. Uh, then you can also set your uh, power mode, so constant power for M3 and dynamic power for M4. And then you have again your minimum and maximum power, fairly simple and self-explanatory there. So if you're happy with your settings, just click on create and there you go. Now, here we see the first problem. As you can see on the original file, I had Inkscape written, but in my canvas, Inkscape is not there. Now, the reason for that is because uh, Laser GRBL actually supports only paths. So everything else other than paths, that means text, uh, objects, or infill, they are actually not recognized. And so this is actually a very easy workaround because you know that everything in Inkscape can be converted into a path by simply selecting it, going under path, object to path, and now if we double click on it and then double click again, there we go, you can see that now we actually have a path here that you can basically edit, okay? I will undo, I will click save, I will click on save and back to laser GRBL, file open, Inkscape open, I'll leave the settings unchanged and there you go, you got your text there. Now the same like for G-code and image files, we'll be able to uh, append files to reload the last file obviously and then to quick save and save. So let me show you how we are going to actually append files. Um, so I'll click on this SVG, then open that up. I'll leave the settings unchanged. 
and boom. And this is actually on top of our uh, previous file. And so this is going to work the same way as per G code. And so uh, this will take uh, the reference point or the origin from the editing software or generating software. In our case, it's directly uh, Inkscape. And so that's something that you need to keep in mind if you want to actually append files. So this is a very easy workaround. Open up the file that you would like to append. Uh, now, right now this is at 0, 0. I basically uh, resized the uh, page to content. So I can select this one and I can move it elsewhere. So we'll do it like this. Control save. Back on laser GRBL, so file, append, I'll click the same file again, okay, and as you can see this has been moved. So if you want to be precise in your movement, you can have a look on what's the actual uh, dimension here, let's say this was the logo, so that's like 220 and 255, so I want to put this at uh, say 240, and 120 okay so to have it right here and so we'll do that right away so 240 and minus 120 I'll click on save control save and then laser GRBL append open lift settings unchanged and as you can see now we are pretty much where we uh, want it now, in reality, uh, this job, you could do it directly in Inkscape. So if you really want to append file, you just uh, merge the files beforehand in Inkscape itself. And then so that you can have full control of where the things are and how uh, they relate to one another. So you can align them easily in Inkscape and then to open them up in Laser GRBL. Now, as I said earlier, uh, infill is not recognized by uh, laser GRBL, but you can see that I got here an infilled text. So I will show you very quickly how to do that. Then you will need to experiment yourself. So I will just uh, create a new file. All right. So let's do a very simple rectangle here. Okay, let me remove the infill. Now the first thing I want to do, I want to actually I want to duplicate it and to leave it in place, and I will uh, explain that in a while. So puff object to puff. So the duplicated, it's actually an uh, a puff now. Now once I select the puff, I can go over to puff, then puff effect. This will open up a window somewhere around the interface, and here you can click on plus or hot puff effect and you will need to look for hatches rough so click on that now when you do that if you have other inkscape instances open for some reason is switching uh, instance i don't know why so let's go back to our design now as you can see with hatch rough you have a bunch of uh, uh, values and parameters that you can edit now don't be bothered about it just set the things to the way I do so 0 0 remove bend hatches then 0 0 0 0 here and this can be 2 2 2 2 and 0 0 remove generate tick and here we put 1 and we are pretty much good to go now you can experiment with, with all of those parameters if you'd like to see uh, how they work uh, now once you've done that um, this is actually a path and so I could actually where is it there we go fill in stroke let's go over to stroke and I can actually give a little bit of stroke this is only for visualization purpose here in Inkscape okay now once you're done with that uh, you can click on the node editing tool or puff editing tool and here you will have this um, snapping or nodes uh, tool so the green one they are for the frequency and the rotation of this puff that you see and the yellow one is for bending now we unchecked 
the bending, the bending hatches, which was this one. So we'll only need to care about the green one. So with the green one, I can basically now increase the frequency and I can also eventually rotate it. Okay. Now we'll click on save very quickly and I will go in laser GRBL file, open um, rectangle, open this up, leave power settings all okay, all like this. Um, actually, I could have I could have moved this to the zero zero. So to do that, if this is the geometry you would like to engrave or to open with uh, laser GRBL, just select it and then Control Shift R. This will basically resize the page to content. So Control Save now, back to laser GRBL. Reload the last file since the name is the same. Okay, and there you go. Now, this is actually not going to create a real infill, but it's going to mimic the infill by having this uh, uh, path that is going back and forth. So you're basically going to simulate the what's called line to line tracing in uh, uh, in the when you are importing images, something like that. So you can basically then adjust the frequency and the rotation so that you can get your output result. Now, eventually you could also measure the frequency if you know uh, the width of the uh, laser or the curve, in other words, and you could try to come up with something. But I think the easiest way to actually uh, check which is the best is to experiment with it. So you will come, you will edit this, you will make it tighter, less tighter and you will uh, see which one is going to actually result uh, better and so once we are done with that um, as I said earlier we can uh, also quick save and save this will basically save whatever you see in the canvas into uh, g-code that you can then use in some other uh, software and this is uh, pretty much uh, the way you do that um, now if you want to know more how to work with this uh, uh, workaround to create the infill and especially for more complex geometry let me know in the comment below i will plan a video uh, for the future and for the time being i think we basically covered um, all of the type of files that you can work with in uh, laser grbl now up next i will cover more advanced future like custom buttons and uh, settings and so stay tuned for that. For now, I hope you find my video helpful, you liked it. Uh, if you have any comment, uh, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, click the thumb up button below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now.